The Mount Kenya National Park is home to a large population of over 2,000 elephants. Living next to the park are people from the district of Meru who have their homes and farms on the northeastern boundary of the forest. Conflict between humans and elephants has existed here for many years. It's caused by elephants trying to follow their traditional migratory routes out to the forest and coming across people on their way. Migration is the seasonal movement by elephants to find new feeding grounds. And when they move, the consequences can be devastating for people, as elephants eat or destroy crops in their path and can threaten lives. For years, local people tried their own methods of scaring the elephants away. But as Humphrey Muneni of the Bill Woodley Mount Kenya Trust explains, they didn't work very well. Community members used to, to beat uh, drums and uh, also light fires. And it's like an, uh, the animals are not uh, getting scared nowadays. Local farmer Agnes Rigiri describes how she used to try and scare the elephants. Life was so difficult for me in the past. Living next to the forest meant that I was in the path of the elephants, and so they would frequently destroy my farm. Elephants used to chase my neighbors, so they would scream to scare them away. But now I love the elephants because of the fence, and so I restrain my sons from using spears to kill them. While old methods failed, the construction of a two-strand electric fence in Meru made an immediate difference. Ecologically friendly, the fence is powered by the sun. Uh, a solar fence normally uses um, solar panels that charges a battery and that the, the power from the battery, that is 12 volts, uh, gets into an energizer and uh, uh, the energizer boosts that 12 volt to around uh, 7,000 volts or 10,000 volts, depending on the length of the fence. And, uh, the energizer produces that power in pulse form. You know pulse? Like that. And uh, that is what gives the shock to the elephants. The fans uh, normally give a shock, just a shock that is going to, to, to scare the animal. Yeah, it doesn't kill and doesn't harm in any way. As field coordinator for the trust, Humphrey is responsible for working with the community and teaching them how to maintain the fence. He has seen people's attitudes towards elephants change dramatically. People used to see the elephants as enemies that need to be eliminated, need to be kept away from them. Yeah, but uh, now that we have the fence, the elephants are now, have now become friends. The, 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 their attitude has generally changed because the elephants are now, they have not, they have stopped becoming a nuisance to them. Agnes too has seen the difference the fence has made. I have seen a big difference in my life because now I can sleep well at night. Even my crops, like the ones you can see, are doing well. I'm having a good harvest together with my neighbors. But it's not just attitudes to elephants that have changed. People now view the forest differently too. They now see it as part of their responsibility to maintain and manage it for the future. Forest officer Dominic Wambua explains how a new government bill to encourage people to manage the forest together will have a meaningful impact here. Formerly, the, the, the people's perception about forests was that the forest belongs to the government. It's government property. Every time a community member wanted to get anything from the forest, firewood, grass, there to go to the forest, who would make a decision as to whether you're going to get it or not. So they were kind of sidelined and they felt that the forest estate was not their own to belong to somebody else. And therefore, their involvement was not very directly. This time around, we expect them to be directly involved in decision making and implementation of those decisions. No longer threatened by raiding elephants, farmers have been able to work together to establish tree nurseries where they sell the plants to earn an extra income. Erecting an elephant solar fence has made a huge difference to people in Meru.
Reducing conflict in this way is something that other people can do too.